Maybe you've got what it takes to... Look up at our board. And you see we have seven grade levels and seven subjects. And the subjects for today are math, geography, history, science, home ec, current events, and the elective category for today is comics. And we'll deal with that when it comes up. You'll hear more about that. In order to win our game and advance to the honors round, you must answer at least one question in every grade level and one in each subject. You can do it in any pattern you like, be it diagonally or randomly or in a row, straight across or up and down. All right, first person to do it wins $500. Then you go to the honors round with a chance to pick up another $600 in prize money plus a great grand prize. Uh, along the way, there are fire drills up there in the wild card squares, and the fire drills can change the course of the game at any moment, so kind of be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, let's see, uh, Jennifer, you on the right to go first. Pick a square, get us started on Make the Grade. Math Elementary. First question of the game. Good luck, everybody. What is the smallest number of coins needed to make 17 cents? Jennifer. 17 pennies. Nope. What's the smallest number of coins needed to make 17 cents? Vidya. Four. Four. Exactly. A dime, a nickel, and two pennies would be the smallest number. Go ahead, Vidya. Um, science, 12th grade. Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code is an acronym for what computer language? Vidya. Basic. Basic is right. Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code is basic. Okay, go ahead, Vidya. History ninth. First question in that category. What piece of real estate did Peter Minuit buy for $24 worth of trinkets? Jennifer. Manhattan. Manhattan. It's a good shopping question. Go ahead, Jennifer. Um, science for 10th grade. Science for 10th. Oh, that's a lose. I know. All right, Jennifer, you have to get back one of your squares, and uh, there's only the Peter Minuit question to come up. Okay, go ahead, Jennifer. History ninth grade. History, ninth grade. Jennifer. Woodstock. Woodstock is the correct answer there. Go ahead, Jennifer. Um, science for 10th grade. Jennifer. Diamonds. Diamonds. Often called a girl's best friend. Go ahead, Jennifer. Home economics for 11th grade. Home ec, 11th grade. Jason. Julia Child. Go ahead, Jason. Can I have comics for 12th? Comics for 12th. All right, and this, this category covers the world of comic strips. Players, what comic strip character made the phrase Leapin' Lizards popular? Jennifer? Annie. That's correct. Little Orphan Annie is right. Current events for elementary. First question in the category. Bull is the bailiff on Jason. Night Court. Night Court on what TV show? Night Court is indeed the answer. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, math for seventh. Math seven. Okay, that is a fire drill. First person who can either knock down or knock, knock over or knock off all the all the Earl Meyer flasks filled with the corresponding colors is the winner. Okay, uh, they don't have to fall off completely, just as long as you've knocked them all down. Uh, first person to do it is our winner. The other two people must compete for second and third places. So keep on competing until you hear me say stop. When we're finished, stay right where you are, and I'll move you back into position. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Fire away. There we go. There's our, there we go. Stop right there. Okay. Here's my winner. Video, where are you going? Green. Going to green. Maria. The head chemist of Trash the Lab is Video, who goes from blue to green. Jennifer goes from green to blue, and Jason returns to red. Now she controls the board. Go ahead, Video. Home economics, eighth grade. Home ec, eighth. Ooh, lose a square. Video, you have to give up one of those squares you just acquired. Which one? History, is ninth. History ninth. That comes off the board. That goes up as a square again. And a question. Go ahead, video. History ninth. Okay. Jason. May first. May first. That's how they got the whole idea. Excellent. That's the end of the round, players. Uh, we are here for round two, where there are lots more questions, and a fire drill lurks on that board somewhere, so anything can happen. I should also remind our players that if no one has completed their scoreboard, as time in round two expires, the player who has come closest to doing that. We'll be declared our champion, win $500, then go to the honors round with a chance at another $600 in prize money and a great grand prize. But that's a long way down the road. In the meantime, Jason, you have the last correct response. Pick a square and get us started here in round two. Drive comics for 10th. Comics for 10th, and that is a fire drill. All right, move out, everybody. On my signal, you guys will begin taking balls out of the bins that you see in front of you. You'll toss them toward the moons that lie out in front of you that correspond to your colors. 
First person who can get two balls to stay in the cylindrical chambers will be the winner. The other two people must compete for second and third places. When we're all finished, stay right where you are, and I will move you back into position, okay? On your mark. Get set. Go. There we go. Nice shot. Oh. Oh, in and out again. Everybody's tied now. Everyone is tied. Next ball in is our winner. There we go. There's our winner right there. Two. There. Stop right there. Okay. Here's our winner. Where are you going, Jason? Look Back to the red. Back to the red. Maria. Lunar Love was pelted by Jason, who returns to red. Jennifer goes from blue to green, and Vidya goes from green to blue. Uh, can I have math for eighth? Math for eight. Here we are. Jason. 180. 180 feet is absolutely right. Events ninth. What nation does Nobel Prize winner Bishop Desmond Tutu come from? Jennifer. Africa. Uh, that's not correct. No. Vidya. France. Incorrect. Jason. Switzerland. No, that's not right. Africa was the closest to those. South Africa. Different. Africa is a huge continent, but I needed South Africa as the country name. Okay, uh, let's see. Jennifer, you have the last correct response. Go. I'll have current events for 11th grade. Current events, 11th grade, and that is a take. All right, that's going to help you out there, Jennifer. Eighth grade math. Eighth grade math, that belongs to Jason. That is fine. Take that. That goes to you. Current events, 11. What former first lady recently wrote a book entitled Vidya? Nancy Reagan. Nancy Reagan, and in fact, the book is entitled Vidya. No, it's entitled My Turn. Nice job. Good for you. Go ahead, Vidya. Um, history for eighth. Jennifer. Cleopatra. Cleopatra. That's in fact correct. Ninth grade geography. Ninth grade geography. Jennifer. St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence is absolutely right. The St. Lawrence Seaway. Very well done, Jennifer. Go ahead. Elementary history. Who was the last vice president to become president? Jo uh, Jason. Um, George Bush. George Bush is right. Well done. You started out. Think yourself. Good job there, Jason. Comic Elementary. Comics Elementary. Okay. That is a loser square. All right, Jason, you have to give up one of your squares. Which is it going to be? Current Events for Elementary. Current Events Elementary. We'll go back on the board. Okay, Jason, go. Current Events. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. That is the time, and the buzzer has sounded. The winner at the green desk is Jennifer. All right, Jennifer. Here you are in the honors round. You have a chance to win a lot more money and a great prize. Here's how it works. We have three categories. You're going to choose one of them. In 45 seconds, you must correctly answer seven questions in that category. Your choices for today are birds, fruits and vegetables, or colors. Which one would you like? Colors. Okay, we divided colors into seven different subject questions. You get all the subject questions correct. You get $600 plus this great grand prize. Tell us about that now, Maria. 45 seconds won't start until I finish reading the first question. English. Hans Christian Andersen wrote a story about what color shoes? Red. Right. Geography. What park was established as the nation's first national park? Yellowstone. Right. History. The bubonic plague of the 1300s is also called the what death? Purple. Incorrect. Homek, what is the two-color name for a milkshake with vanilla and chocolate ice cream? Chocolate vanilla shake. Incorrect. Music. The Beatles sang about what color submarine? Yellow submarine. Right. Frizzad, name Wisconsin's only NFL pro football team. Red Giants. Incorrect. Science. What kind of wasp is black and yellow? Yellow jacket. Right. That's correct. History. Oh, you got four right out of the seven. That's $400. 500 for the first part of the game. That's $900 total. That was great. The questions you didn't get right. The black death is the plague. And uh, the two color milkshake, you said chocolate vanilla, black and white. We were looking for colors there. And Green Bay Packers. Green Bay. That was what we were looking for. That was the Wisconsin Pro Football Team, the NFL team. You did a great job. We had fun having you here today. They're here to play. Here's how we play Think Fast. Our two teams are going to be competing in a variety of events that are designed to test both their mental ability and their physical skill. If they win an event, they win cash. And most importantly, they get a shot at the Think Fast Brain Bender worth 200 bucks. And the team with the most money at the end of the game gets to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes and face the ultimate challenge in the locker room. Let's play our first event, which is called Paper Route. I'm going to read a description of a news story, and you have to match it up 
with the correct headline. If you get that right, you get you earn a point, and then you get a bonus point if you can come over here and you can take one of these papers off our headline stand. And then what you'll do is you'll throw that at the cottage and try to get it in that milk can right there with the umbrellas in it. Morning meal at female pop star's house. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Breakfast, breakfast at Tiffany's is correct. Go ahead. All right, that ties up the score. Here comes the bonus point. Will they get it? Oh, right off the lip. Michael J. Fox and friends at work on the 10th. Go ahead, go. The future is forever. The future is forever. Very good. That's it. Go ahead and throw the bonus question. Oh, off the, off the back row. Time has run out, which means uh, gold has three, blue has two, gold wins. All right, you did a good job. You won 50 bucks, and you get a shot at today's brain bender. And today's brain bender is a close-up object. We've taken a picture of an object extremely close. It makes it very difficult to figure out what it is. Let's take a look at it and reveal a piece. Do you have any idea what that is? No. <laughs> no idea. Okay, well, you still won 50 bucks for your team, which means the gold team has 50. Blue's not on the board yet. Our next event is called Color Hoops. And what we have here is we have some basketball goals set up with some words underneath. We also have a big uh, basket full of colored balls. What you guys have to do is make baskets in such a way that the color of the balls work with, works with these words to make up well-known phrases. The most correct phrases when time runs out wins. You guys ready? All right, then think fast. Start shooting. Both teams are going for it. And they made the ball simultaneously. Cole's trying to figure it out. All right, he just got, oh, he just missed that shot. Got it in. All right, the blue. Uh, blue has just got a blue one in. They've got four. All right, blue just missed another shot. Cole's trying to figure out what the correct color would be. Blue's digging through there trying to figure out what the correct color would be. All right, this is a close one. Uh, gold has six correct, blue has five correct, gold yeah. wins! And reveal a piece. Have any idea what that is? No. No idea. Okay, you still won 50 bucks for that event. This event is called Scrambling for a Gift. What we have here is we have two huge cakes. And inside those cakes, we have some scrambled words. You have to dig in there, find those letters, Put them up on the board there and unscramble them up there to tell what the gift is, all right? The first team to come up with the correct gift, it wins. You guys ready? All right, then. Think fast. Start digging in there. Find those, find those letters. Make sure you put them right side up. The letters have to be right side up. There we go. There are numbers up on those blocks that help you to unscramble them. There are numbers on the blocks that tell you which order they go in. Numbers on the blocks that tell you which order they go in. Keep on scrambling. It's a gift. It's a gift. What is it? Okay, time has run out, and the judges say that there was no winner. The answer that we were looking for was sweater. In round two, all dollar values are doubled, which means each event is now worth a hundred bucks a piece. This next event is called Memory Match. What we have here is we have a board with eight names of famous people up there. We're going to ask, give you a few seconds to memorize where we are. Then we're going to ask you a bunch of questions, and you have to buzz in and give the number which matches the name with the clue. Okay? Each correct answer is worth a point. Most points wins. I memorize all those names. Memorize them. Okay, let's close them up. Close them up. Very good. All right. Arch rival of Superman. Gold. Six. Give me a number six. Is it number six? Abraham Lincoln is not the arch rival of Superman. No, let's close that one back up again. Do you have a guess? Three. Three. Is it number three? Johnny Depp. No, I don't think it's Johnny Depp either. The answer that we were looking for was Lex Luthor. He's the arch rival of Superman. While it often appears that this man can fly like a bird, he's actually... Blue. Five. Is it number five? Michael Jordan is correct. This heartthrob jumped from Jump Street into the hearts of half the girls in America. Gold. Three. Is it number three? Johnny Depp is correct. You get that point. His most famous address was in Gettysburg, but he never lived there. Gold. Six. Is it number six? Yes, it is number six. Abraham Lincoln. Very good. Okay, time has run out. Gold had four, blue had one. Gold wins. Come on down here. Let's reveal another piece. Do you have any idea what that is? Not really. Not really. Okay, well, you won 100 bucks, which means the score is now gold 200. Blue's not on the board yet. 
Our next event is called Hung Out to Dry. I'm going to ask a question. One player from each team is going to dip inside the laundry tub, find the article of clothing that pertains to the question, then they'll take it, they'll put it on the clothesline right here, and then they'll send it down to their partner, and their partner has to put that item of clothing on. All right? Each team gets a point for the first player to get those things down there and get, on, get them put on their, their partners. All right? Most points wins. Here's your first clue. If you got in a scuffle, you might get belted in the mouth, but put this on and you're belted around the waist. Think fast. Go to it. Oh, blue jumps off. All right, Gold's got it on there. Oh, this is a tight one. This is a tight one. Put it on. First team to put it on wins. The blue team got it first. The blue team got it first. Very good. All right. Time has run out, which means that blue uh, had three and gold didn't have one. Blue wins. You get a shot at the brain bender. Today's brain bender is a close-up object. Let's take a look and reveal the next piece. Do you have any idea what that is? Are they pipes under a sink like? It, is it pipes under a sink? Oh, no, it's not. That was a good guess, but there's not pipes under a sink. Okay, which means uh, we have to go to a sudden death brain bender. That was our last event. Okay, here we are. It's sudden death brain bender. What we're going to do is we're going to show the brain bender, reveal one piece at a time. The first team to buzz in and guess it correctly wins, and which means they'll also win the game. Let's take a look at the brain bender and reveal a piece. Buzz in as soon as you know what it is. Okay, Blue buzzed in. What do you think it is, Blue? Like a light fixture with a bulb in it? A light fixture with a bulb. <laughs> Just to say yes, it is! Which means, which means the score is uh, Blue has 300, Gold has 200, Blue has made an amazing comeback. They're going to the locker room! Yeah. Yes! Woo -hoo. Okay! What an amazing game! That was such a comeback! Blue hadn't won anything all, all the whole way through. They come back, they win the last event, they win the brain bitter, they come back, they win, they're going to the locker room. Gold, you guys played a great game, and, and it was an amazing comeback that the Blue did. I'll tell you what, you guys get to, to split the money that you got, plus you get these great prizes that Henry J is going to tell us about right now. We're here in the locker room with Doug and Belinda. They've earned the right to go on that mad dash for cash and prizes. Here's how we play. Behind me, we have 15 lockers, and inside those lockers, we have seven matching pairs. We're going to give you 60 seconds on the time clock and what you have to do is take turns matching up as many pairs as possible in the allotted time a locker door will open up and whoever or whatever pops out you have to find the mate the first four matches are worth a hundred bucks a piece the next three are worth these great prizes that henry j is going to tell us about right now let's remind everybody at home we want it there is inside one of these lockers we have the red herring the red herring is a character that has no match at all so if you think you guys have found it run over here and yank on the herring handle it'll shut up the lockers and allow your partner to continue matching let's put one minute on the time clock ready think fast go for it doug Make those matches, buddy. Make those matches. There it is. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. All right, Belinda, go. Go. Find a painter. Where's that painter? Where's that painter? Oh, there it is. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. All right, go. Go. Who, who are you looking for? Who are you looking for? I don't know who that is. Mad 70s disco dancer. That's it. Lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Who's he looking for? He's looking for the balls. Where are the balls? That's right. Lock it up. Go, Belinda. Who's she looking for? She's looking for the cat. Belinda, the cat. That's it. Lock it up. Skip Black is saying if you don't have time to think twice, think fast. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.